Hi everyone, it's Lonnie. Welcome back to Tagtastic, a challenge by Tina at Shabby Dabby Duda. We are doing episode five today and we are making tags, of course. Um, I, I saw Tina's video and I saw she did do some collaging and I'm just not a big fan of collaging. Uh, so I did uh, just pick out some pretty papers, some digitals that I had. This one I did take from a piece of paper that I did collage with napkin. So technically this is collaged, but I thought if I was to do that with you guys on video, it would just take way too long. And so I tried to prepare some of these ahead of time. And... I kind of got carried away, so I got a few done, but I want to show you how to do them from start to finish. Um, it's a little bit different than how she, how Tina was doing them, but I think they're going to be great anyways. And, I mean, the more the merrier, right? You want as much in your arsenal as you can get. So. What determined the size of my tags was actually the paper inside. And I have three pieces of blank paper inside, and then I have the back. So the paper that I put inside, I use coffee dyed copy paper. And I will show you how I got those. So I took an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper and I folded it in half. I mean, you can use whatever paper you like. I just wanted to use this since I had it. Okay, so then to make the most out of this piece of paper, I am going to fold, you know, after I fold this in half, I will try to fold it into equal thirds. That way I won't have to trim too much off. And I just eyeball it. And that looks about close right there. Then I take my bone folder and press it down. Okay, so up here where all the folds are, I'm just gonna trim that off. And then I will take the corners or the edges Trim the folds off. So then we have six pieces of paper that we can write on. Okay, I took copy paper because I don't want it too thick. I think these are a nice size, nice thickness. All right, so then I, I will take three for each tag. And then I pick my paper. I'm just gonna use one that I had printed out already. And then for me, the fun part is to pick which rows or what part of the paper that I want. And I think I want this section right here. And I think I want this at the bottom and then that one on top, so. I'll put it like so. Which 
Try to line those up. And I've been kind of keeping them together with this paper clip. Wouldn't have to, but I just thought, you know, less trimming later. All right, so I will cut this one out. And I don't mind if the front piece is a little bigger than the ones behind it, so. Okay. So if you're the measuring person, these are almost three inches, not quite. I just cut, except for the back, because the back I'm using cardstock, so it's a little bit thicker of a piece. You can make a few more or use it for something else. I like to make lots of pockets so that will not be wasted. Okay, so then that's about that. So I like that. I think that looks really good there. And then I'm going to ink the edges. I'm prepared today. I've got labels that I think might work. I've got the brads kind of picked out. Even some ribbon that I might want to use. So, hoping to actually make good use of my time today. And then we need the back. Just take one so how are you guys doing are you in, are you making some tags I was surprised when I put yesterday's into my tag box how rapidly they are accumulating. And I like that feeling because oh, it's a kind of an added benefit. I mean, it's nice to build up your stash, but that wasn't primarily why I started the challenge. I just wanted a challenge, so see if I could keep up. Okay, so I got a little bit of hangover out here. Okay, so I think this gives me five to go ahead and decorate, so. Obviously, I have to make more because I've got a lot of insides over here. Not sure if I got 
that all the way around this with the ink. There we go. Okay, so then I'm just going to move to the next part and uh, see what we come up with for decorating. Okay. So what we want to do is kind of line these up nicely. Try. And I still have a little bit of overhang. Alright, so we need a hole punch. I'm going to use my bigger regular size one because the brads I'm using are fairly large. They're not the mini brads. I think the package said eight, eight millimeters. And I have silver and gold. I also have other colors, but these are my favorite ones to use. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is Probably could have used a t slightly smaller hole punch, but I don't really have one that's super small. You know, like, well, I have a very small, m very much smaller one, but not just a little bit smaller than this. So, this will have to do. And you could put like a paper saver, what do you call that? You know, when you, oops, hey. Okay. Next thing we wanna do is grab a brad that's actually not gonna break on us. I'm gonna keep this top part though for Yeah, I didn't know they were so easily bent out of shape, shall we say. Reinforcement stickers. There you go. Okay, I don't know if I want that or not. Maybe I'll try one and see if that helps make the hole a little smaller. What I like to do is ink them up so that they match the paper. That's funny. Only the stuff that's still there is taking the ink. Alright, so that tells me I have four left here. The only thing I don't like about these is that they usually have a red border on them. Okay, so there's that. Do I want one on the back as well? Maybe. Actually, I wasn't planning on using these until it broke on me. Alright, let's try this again. And I don't want them too tight even. Because I want them to be able to swing. Now this one I could have actually backed onto some thicker paper but I did not. So I 
guess I still could, but I'm going to leave it for now. The other ones, some of these I printed out on thin cardstock, so they're a little thicker. So let's do this one next. This was actually a tag that I got on Creative Fabrica. So, it was just a happy thing that they were the same size. A little shorter, but basically the same size as the strips I have cut. Okay. I guess it's making it a little bit thicker for the brad to go through, so maybe it's helping them not to break, I don't know. Or maybe I got a dud, who knows. Okay, so they swing out so then they can be written on, used as journaling cards. And for the brad itself, yeah, this is probably where I would look for some washi tape. And I would put some glue down. That way it's not going to um, hurt anybody, hopefully. Okay, so that one is pretty much done. Maybe just a tag, not a tag, a label. Try to pull out all the, the short ones that I have. I think I'm going to use this one. It says Shalom on it. And Shalom is a Hebrew word for peace. Peace in every area of your life. It's a beautiful word. And so there's this rose called Peace Rose, which is my favorite. It's got yellow and pink and this peachy color. And it smells so good. And it's called the Peace Rose. And since there's a rose on here, this is not the Peace Rose, but the rose reminds me of this, so I will put that on there. I'm going to call that done with the pretty paper. I just don't feel it needs a whole lot. And if I need to come in and decorate some more later, I can still do that. Okay, so here is a another one. This one has a sunflower. This one is thicker paper, so maybe I won't need to. Might not need the hole savers there. Reinforcements. But I will put another piece of it's interesting, I never realized that, I mean, I guess 
get what you pay for. I tried to find, you know, the least expensive brads I could. So that's probably why I got these. You know, when you first start um, junk journaling and stuff, you think you need all the stuff. So then you start penny pinching and buying just whatever you can at the time. And then later on, you start to learn about quality. Oh, well, I don't think I'm alone in that, so. Okay. All right, maybe another label. I do like this one. Today is a gift. I like the word authentic for this one as well because the collage on here reminds me that, you know, sometimes we're a little bit broken and maybe put together and it's important to be who we are, not try to be all put together and perfect. You didn't know you were coming to a philosophy video, did you? Anyways, then how about this one? I don't know if you can hear that somebody outside is cutting the grass. That's kind of loud, so hopefully it's not carrying over. And I guess it would be a good thing to Put the hole in first so I knew where to put the reinforcement. These probably don't have the greatest stick on them. And two, if you wanted to, I'm sure you could put more pieces of paper in there for writing on. I feel like I put a lot of journaling space in so I can get away with just a few because there will be more places for putting notes and things. For this one, I was thinking I might want a word or something up top. That's a little wide. Maybe I'll put, save that for that one. And two, who says it has to be rectangular? could be a circle. It could be both.
could be both. But then if I put the bird on, I think I want it on the bottom and then if it's too wide, I don't want it up top either. And that's too long. I know I could do, I could cut this one down. Why did I do that? This is why I like stamping out my own sometimes because um, you can make them any size you like. And that's how I got these little guys. I think I'm just gonna... There, like that. I think that'll be nice. I guess it would look nice there too. But I'm going to go up top because that's what I was wanting to do in the first place. So. Something like that. Okay, so that's our third one done. This one was also from Creative Fabrica. It's kind of unfortunate that artificial intelligence is kind of taking over the designing. I mean, some of it I like, but some of it I don't like because it, it looks so fake. I still like the realistic looking things. Alright, and then some of these I like to round the corners at the bottom. I probably won't do all of them, but some. And then this one, maybe this one is a good one for the bird because there's actually a room on here. And maybe it's a good one for this handle with care. And two, I think this one needs some lace. Something delicate. too white I want to just kind of trim that off neatly. I'm 
I'm not quite convinced that I have it the way I want. Maybe I want this a little smaller so that it only sticks out in a couple spots. This bird is directional. It has to go a certain way. I don't know. Does that work? I think it might work because of the theme that's going on here. If I put it on this side, what would happen? Something like that maybe. If I made that a little darker around the edges, it might work. Do I want that sticking off? That way it's kind of, I don't know, maybe it balances it a bit. Maybe not. Who knows? I'll try it. Something like that. Okay, I think that'll be nice. Okay, so I'm back with this one. It's the one I started with. Ah, I think this is the one. Today is a gift. All good things come, or all good gifts come from the Father above. From above the Father of heavenly lights. Okay, and I'm just going to put that to one side. There we go, that side. There. And that's how it goes today. Episode 5, Tagtastic. Check out some of the other videos and uh, see what everybody else is doing. I haven't had a chance yet, but I want you to see if, um, you know, what everybody else is doing. So, obviously, you have a lot of options for this one. So, make it fun. So we did five, that's not bad. And I still have to make all these yet, so I will do that in a bit. All right. I don't know why I'm arranging them so nicely. Just say goodbye. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day, and uh, we'll catch you again next time. Bye for now.